one of the things we're seeing in our cases when we see financial abuse of elders is that the abused person is still dependent upon the abuser. Is that something we're seeing in the studies as well? So actually what they're increasingly seeing is that the abuser is dependent on the elder for financial support. And of course, all of that really uh, came to um, a fore in the Great Recession, where adult children lost their jobs, lost their homes, and all of a sudden they're living with their elderly parents again, and they never left. They are, you know, they become completely financially dependent on the parent. 